Well then, nothing like a quick hot fix for a major update that has already been quite sudden, am I right? Folks, the Maxwell rework update is officially out now in beta form, and Clay has started their usual cycle of fast and numerous changes as seen here. And I'll be clear and say straight away that I will still be questioning some of the decisions being made. However, I cannot deny that we are trending in the right direction. So let us discuss. And we'll start with the blast from the past. Well, almost. For you see, Maxwell will now no longer see a sanity drain when wielding a dark sword and or donning a set of knight armor. Two pieces of gear that used to be his starting inventory back in the day in case you didn't know. And while that's appropriate for the former King of the Nightmare Throne, I have an issue in the grand scheme of things. Wanda. Now I understand the lore reasons behind it, however when Wanda as an old coot can boast a 75% damage increase with shadow weapons and no sanity drain as well, I feel like I've been feeling this whole time. Maxwell is just being laughed at at this point. Heck, even middle-aged Wanda deals more damage with the Dark Sword than the man who literally spawned into the constant with one not too long ago. Now, I'm not saying he needs to match any of that, but he does need more. Be it a durability increase, cheaper crafts, or something like that. No sanity drain for a guy who still regens it faster than anyone else isn't enough. Which leads us to the tweaks to our shadowy geeks and all the discussions that come with them. First things first though. All Shadow Servants specifically have seen an increase in their timers, and it appears that said timer is about half a day now. Unless something targets them and kills them, of course, including you, mind. To add to that, though, Shadow Servants should also now avoid each other when doing work to help maximize efficiency and the time they have. And finally, when in their new gathering phases, they will now try to pick up and carry entire stacks of items to us instead of the bits and pieces they were bringing just yesterday. All in all, I would say that Shadow Servants are about as good as we are going to see them as things stand within this rework and considering the way Clay is trending with Maxwell overall. That said, I have heard the pleas of the many who want them to return to their original permanent forms. To that, I'll say Clay backed themselves into a corner by rendering the Puppet Master a utility powerhouse all them years back, so what we see is what we're gonna get. All we can hope for is that the utility itself has power behind it, and I do believe we are one step closer to that here today. The Shadow Duelists, on the other hand, are an entirely different story. A story that could probably last all day, I reckon, but to lay the groundwork of this segment comes the new change to their targeting, supposedly, as well as their two-minute timer of activity. A mechanic or two that don't really make the most sense to me, to be honest. I understand that they have to die eventually to help us get our maximum sanities back, but why not just let us kill them when we want to? It's not like you yourselves are treating them like anything else but fodder anyway, Clay. And as for the targeting thing, I'm not entirely sure what it means. They're supposed to get more attacks in, but they're really still really bad at guiding. Seriously, a choice needs to be made about these guys, I feel. They're either meant to be thrown to the wolves over and over and over again, especially after this we work, as that is an act we can all do as we speak for almost no downsides besides a weakened codex, or perhaps they can finally be made to be halfway decent at kiting itself to help prove their worth. Now I get it, they are much cheaper now, which is a huge buff. And this right here is strong in the right hands, but am I the only one who feels like this is not intended? Quote unquote infinite duelist bam doesn't feel right for a guy who should just have complete control over his puppets anyways. I also get that joining them in these fights usually leads to them lasting longer as we ourselves can draw the aggro. However, that isn't the point, as we could literally do that before this rework anyways. The man has been in the constant for years and years and years, and even quote-unquote ruled it for a time, yet his puppet powers are being outclassed left and right. All I'm saying is, he needs more love. All that said, 
puppets are not his only new toys now, are they? There's plenty to chew on when it comes to the spells. And while this hotfix didn't really help them out all that much, there has been a discovery of a secondary mechanic behind the poorly named and implemented Shadow Sneak. For you see, the thing will scare some mobs so much that they will turn into their nightmare counterparts for about half a day. Rabbits will become beardlings, which means they will drop nightmare fuel 40% of the time, all the while Maxwell will suffer not for the most part. The big bad bunnymen of the deep dark caves can be made in the beer lords on the fly. However, with no damage increase like they have in Solo Don't Starve, all we really have to look forward to is their beard hair. And finally, all annoying but totally not deadly blue monkeys can be transformed into their horrifying shadow cells for whatever purpose necessary. Mostly for their nightmare fuel, of course. It's a neat trick for an otherwise ignorable spell at the end of the day. And as for the shadow prison spell, yes, I am very aware of its potential, and I've gone on record to say that it's actually darn useful. But I do not believe that what you see here, and perhaps have seen and heard from other places, is intended, so let us not blow things out of proportion just yet. Something tells me that a permanently locked raid boss who can't even attack us is an oversight on Clay's parts. And there you have it, everyone. Half guide and overview of the newest hotfix for the newest and sudden Maxwell rework update beta out now and half a delivery mechanism for all of my complaints on the whole thing. Nah, I kid. In truth, I figured the act of simply covering these changes wouldn't exactly be enough, as when I read them, I did find it all did not be enough. At least at this time, that is. And that's a very important qualifier, you internet knee-jerk reactors. I myself am waiting for more too, as I know more will come, and it will be great. That doesn't mean that we cannot talk about what we have now, however. We are a few rings up on the ladder, as they say, but there is still a ways to go before the puppet master starts to feel like he has mastery over his puppets, at least in this beard's opinion. But thanks for watching, folks. Well, wish it to all. Please let me know your thoughts and everything down below as we wait to see what comes next together, and I will be there to cover it all when it does. Bye-bye.